What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. I think it's been like a month or two since I've last sat down and actually talked to you guys. And it's been a minute. I think the last time I talked to you guys, I made my MLB season predictions and that was like a month and a half ago. And now the season is almost already over. And everything's weird. Okay, you guys know the main focus of this channel is to do vlogs at games, usually at Angel Games. And obviously I can't do that right now. So I kind of have to improvise. What I think I'm going to do the rest of like, I guess these seasons, sports seasons, is I'm going to kind of talk about some sports news. Mainly baseball, of course. You guys know Bleacher Report? Bleacher Report does like sports news, but it's like 90% basketball, 9% football, and like 1% baseball. I think this channel is going to be like 90% baseball, 9% basketball and then 1% football. I think it's gonna be like kind of the opposite way around in the actual best sports first. I'm kidding, if you guys like basketball or football more, I don't really care. But you know, that's gonna be basically my channel. And the basketball season, you know, it's going kind of well. I'm voting for the Clippers and it's getting scary because they're at game seven. But we're gonna talk about mainly baseball this episode. Last season, I talked about the Angels a lot and I think you guys liked it. The majority of these fans are Angel fans. The majority of you guys watch my video, they're Angel fans, and you guys liked, I did a few podcasts where I talked about the Angels, and you guys enjoyed that, so I'm not really going to do podcasts, I don't know if I can get everyone's attention span for that long, but I'm going to do a lot of mini videos about, you know, whatever news is going on, you know, maybe like 5-10 minute videos about this kind of stuff, and this video is just going to do like a quick little update. Um, I've kind of just been enjoying summer. I haven't been doing much. I, I, I still have been uploading actually. I uploaded a video from Long Beach, the Angel Spring Training Camp, and I uploaded a Home Run Derby video. I also have this other channel that I've been uploading a little bit on. And also, I hate to be, a, it's kind of dumb that I just like shout myself out a little bit, but I did restart this Instagram account. I am going to be on an Angel, I'm going to be on a comeback, okay? I think the prime of this channel was like 2019. And I've kind of hit like a little slump this season because obviously you can't go to games or anything So it's kind of hard for me to get this channel started But if you guys remember I did have this Instagram account that was at like 1,000 followers and I deleted it It was probably one of the stupidest things I've done the problem I had is everyone thought I was an Angels fan page and You know just because the names like Angels vlogs I want to kind of be a little more like sporty. I kind of want to be known for like my content. I don't want to be thought of as like an Angels fan page. I am a huge Angels fan. My content is kind of around it, but I work a lot. I work hard to make my own original content. I'm not just taking content from like the Angels highlights and stuff like that. You know, that's Angels fan pages. And no disrespect to those kind of Instagram pages and stuff. But I had a lot of people hitting me up, like, like saying I was an Instagram fan page and stuff. Which, you know, I guess, looking back on it, I shouldn't have minded it that much. And I should have just na changed the name of my Instagram or something. The Deleting the channel is the, like the stupidest response to that. I should have just named the, renamed the channel or something, but I deleted it for some reason, which is probably the stupidest move I've ever made. But I'm going to try to restart an Instagram account, hopefully get it back up to 1,000 followers where I was at before. Here it is. And then I have my other Instagram if you want to check it out. It would mean a lot. And uh, yeah, so that's how I'm going to try to connect to you guys through this Instagram account. And also, let me do a quick summary of the Angels season, because that's probably what you guys want to hear. Um, and probably just a little summary of the season in general. It's been a 60 game season, we've never seen this type of thing before. And two teams from each division make it to the playoffs, as well as wild cards. And this actually gives the Angels a chance. They have a chance for the second spot of the division, not a wild card. Um, it's we're lucky that the Astros have been this bad because we're only three and a half games back despite a bad season And we've had a bad season because this team is so bipolar You know we have a few like really really good players Mike Trout, Rendon, Dylan Bundy, David Fletcher And then we have all these like really really good bad guys that's been doing really bad So Dylan Bundy has had like a two and a half ERA under one whip This guy's been like pitching like a Cy Young it's crazy. I didn't expect much from him. He had like a five ERA in the Orioles when we got him, and he's been just going off. He's two and a half ERA again, under one whip. He's been insane, but the rest of the pitching have just been terrible. We've seen the normal season from Trout. So as in terms of the lineup, Trout, 1,000, like 50 OPS, like leading the league in homers. If you guys are familiar with OPS, it's like my favorite stat. It like combines slugging and on base, which I think are like two of the most important stats. 
Uh, Anthony Rendon has been Anthony Rendon type of season. He's had like the type of season he's had last season. And the rest of the lineup, you know, Fletcher's been great. Over 300 average, like one of the leaders in the league in average. But the rest of the, the lineup, Otani has been under 200 average. Upton has been under 200 average. Joe Adele, I'm not gonna sugarcoat him either. He's been terrible. He's our top prospect, but I'm not too worried because it's only been his like first 40 games in MLB. There's just a lot of really, really bad people. Actually, Jared Walsh, Jared Walsh, look him up if you don't know him, Angels fans. He's been unreal right now. He's in this insane home run streak where he's hit like five home runs in the past week. The guy's been insane. I kind of don't want to, I don't know why I mentioned like Upton Otani. I kind of want to be a positive person, just talk about the bright spots though. Cause I think Trout will win another MVP. You know, Dylan Bundy, I'm very optimistic about him. So that's my my quick little summary of the season. Also rest in peace, Tommy LaSella, Brian Goodwin, Jason Castro, Castro. They were victims of the trade deadline. Not, I'm not gonna say victims because they're probably happy they're on better teams. Except for Goodwin, he's not really on a better team. But Tommy LaStella, Jason Castro on some trade, some great teams. Jason Castro, Padres, Tommy Law, A's. The Marlins, guys. The Marlins are going to probably make the playoffs, which imagine saying that last season, you know? It's, it's really weird. So we're gonna look back at this season in years to come and just be like, what the hell is this year? Um, and again, like I can't go into stadiums, I can't do vlogs, so I'm gonna kind of try to do this to make up for it. Um, I'm gonna start posting a lot more on this channel, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, guys, that's my quick little update. I hope you guys enjoyed. This could be more, again more videos like this. I need to stop repeating myself. That is it. Make sure you like the video. I have my Instagrams here. That is it. Peace.